Okay, so this is hopefully going to be a short video about uh, removing duplicates in Google Sheets. Uh, now, usually a lot of people uh, add, uh, install add-ons for whatever reason for this, but there is actually built-in functionality in Google Sheets to remove duplicates. So let's take this one step at a time. Let's say we have this column of values. And if we look at them, you'll see that some of them are repeating. So for example, these two are duplicates, right? And I assume there are gonna be more like this Air Max, Air Max. There's another Air Max here. Basically, we want to get a list of unique items from here, right? To remove all duplicates. So uh, the way we can accomplish it is by actually using a function that's called unique. So I'm going to go ahead and type equal sign and start typing my function unique. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and hit tab because I'm too la lazy to type the whole thing. And the next thing I'm going to do is just show the range of values. So there it is. I'm going to highlight this range of values right here. Close my parentheses, hit enter. And that's really all there is to it. We just got a list of unique items out of here. Now, this is great to get it from a single column. But an interesting thing about this function is that it works on multiple columns as well. Because right now, this is kind of fine. But at the same time, if we look at these items, while the name of the item is the same, here, you can see that the size and the price is actually different. Well, the price seems to be the same, apparently, but the size is different. Interesting. But it's the st same stock item. So in this case, is when uh, we look at this, we may not want to consider these as duplicates. So we want to just remove duplicates when the whole thing is the duplicate. We want the entire row to be a duplicate. So for example, like this one, Nike Air Max, if we compared to this one over here, the row five is an exact duplicate and we would like to remove that. So we want to remove only where all the columns match. And the interesting thing about this is that it's pretty much the same thing. So to make this simple and nice, I'm going to go ahead and create another sheet here by clicking on this plus button. I'm going to go ahead and copy the labels. Go ahead and go to sheet two and paste. And you don't really have to do this. I'm just trying to make this clean and nice for this. And I want to get a list of unique items out of this table. So I'm going to go here, type equals unique. There it is. And now I'm going to go ahead and highlight the items that I want. So I'm going to go to the other tab. And it's going to be this table right here. I don't need the labels on top. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and close parentheses, hit enter. And that's all I really have to do. I got a list of unique items. The cool thing about this, actually, if we go ahead and remove this 17 to make this range expandable so that if we add more items to the other tab, it will work. If I come back here on this sheet now and add more items, I'm going to get a unique list on this other tab dynamically without really doing this again. So this is just giving you a dynamic list. So if I go ahead and let's say put this, I'm going to just copy and paste this item here. It's basically a duplicate, right? So this shouldn't add any new items. So we should still have one of this. So Nike or Zoom structure, you can see how we have one. There it is. But now if I go and decide this is going to be the item number 652, that's now a duplicate. So if we go back 
you'll see that now it appears because it's a duplicate. So that's the way you can actually get a clean list simply by using unique function. Now, if you don't really need this dynamic functionality and you did this, you just want the final result, you could just go ahead and copy this result and then you can just right click and paste special, paste values only. And that's just going to overwrite the actual formula here and just put the actual values in the cells. And now we got a clean data without duplicates. And that's it. That's all there is to removing duplicates in Excel. Uh, actually, Google Sheets <laughs> uh, in Excel. It's a different functionality. But anyways, uh, I'll see you next time.